Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Ludum Dari 37. The Ludum Dari has the theme, One Room, and it's a two-part jam and compo. I'm playing games from both the jam and the compo. They have slightly different rules. One's a bit more strict. I'm playing all the games that were entered in my spreadsheet. So there are a lot of like games entered in this jam every year, every time they have one. They have a couple a year. So I'm only going to be playing the games that are entered on my list. So if you want your game to be played, enter it in the spreadsheet in the description. I'm playing each game for about a minute. Links to the individual games will be in the description, 10 per video, so you can check them out further. My favorites will be written about and an article at the end. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing the evidence room. Welcome to the evidence room. Due to budget cuts at the precinct, all the evidence has been stored in one room. It's up to you to make sure the evidence gets to the right police officers, even when they don't know exactly which piece of evidence they need. Let's get started. Tragedy at the... Okay. Hey, Mac, let me get the evidence from case 21. There you go. That's the one. Thanks. All right, so case file. Hey, Mac, get me the evidence from the Millennium Christmas Killer. The case file computer might help you out. Here's the Millennium Christmas Killer. It's number 70. 70. 7560. Okay. There you go. That's the one. Thanks, Mac. No problem. Hey, Mac, remember that piece of the victim suit that fell off during that one opera murder? Alright, tragedy at the opera, probably. Um, let's see, you don't have a number. 110. Okay. 11085. That one, maybe? That's the one. I'm great at this job. I should get a promotion. Hey, Mac, would you mind getting the chat logs that were printed out for the 93 Stalker case? Oh, crap. 93. 1993. 93, probably. Yay, that's the one. No problem, guys. Sorry to bother you again, Matt. Can I get another evidence we have from the opera murder? No. Tragedy at the opera. Ten. Ends in 85. Oh, there's nothing on that page. 85, 85. There you go. Yay. <laughs> it's a pretty simple game, but it's nicely made. I like it. Next. We're playing Breach Lockdown. In deep space, the colony ship NCF Elizabeth V is under attack from pirate gunships. The board are a thousand crew. Can you save them all? Close the bulkheads to stop the breach spreading. Reassure bulkheads to seal the breach's areas. Can you at last the attack? Mouse and keyboard controls. Gamepad support, but not recommended. Alright. Oh, goodness. This looks complicated. 15, 14, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What number are you? Alright, D2? D2, I think? D. Wow. Let's go. D2. Okay, close. Is that right? Oh, no. I think I fucked it up. D2, D, B19. Shit. It's like, nope, you fucked up. B19. All right, just moves a bit weirdly on my computer. Oh, that's not right. Ah, crap, 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 crap. Oh, my crew's gonna die. What do you even say? D forty four. It's like probably gonna run out of time before I even have time to type it. Was if we repressurize. Nope, wasn't happy. Wow, this is spreading. I very much like the look of this model. I seem to always fail at these games. It might run a bit wonky on my computer, though. Ugh, X, okay. F41? Mm, okay, let's just close that off, maybe. So it closed it. That didn't really help, though. A3, let's close A3. Nope, that's B. Close. Nope. Uh, let's look up the next one. A3. Yeah, I see A3 still. A. My crew's gonna die. No one should have put me in charge of this. It's all going badly. I need more of me to look at these and type in numbers. Because at first it's just like one is being affected, but now it's like most of it is all counting down at the same time. It's a pretty interesting game, though. I very much like the graphics. Can we leave this room? No. no. Okay. Fine. All right, let's open. Forget about my crew. Let's just leave. <laughs> I think it was probably probably it was a very selfish idea. 
Whatever. Bye. <laughs> it's kind of funny that that's an option. <laughs> Next. We're playing You're Tearing Me Apart. Oh, right. hi, Mark. Hi. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. No, oh, sorry. Am I just supposed to destroy stuff? Why, oh. Lisa? Why? Why? Ah. I'm clearly angry about stuff, and also very strong. Give you seven years of my life. Yeah, why, Lisa? Why? Why? Let's let's pull out all these bits. Ugh. Ah. Tearing me apart, Lisa. Okay. I've destroyed everything. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi. You are tearing me so apart. We're just destroying Lisa. everything. Ugh. I gave you seven years of my life. Too bad. I'm tearing everything apart. Ugh. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Ugh. I feel like we well, a pretty good score. So this is just a room that I get to tear apart and then look at in black and white. It's a very simple game, but I kind of like throwing everything around. Next. We're playing in one fell swoop. Welcome to our one room hotel. We're glad to see you here. But enough talking. Let's start working. Take this and show me what you've got. I'm a janitor. Oh, this is cool. Alright, so basically... We bounce off walls. We need to kind of grab socks, I think, and also, oh, I kind of expected you to keep bouncing. No, keep bouncing. Uh, let's go maybe this way. Oh, this is quick. What if I hold down? Nothing. Wait, I'm not catching a lot of stuff, which isn't good. Okay, let's grab you. Maybe grab you, you, and then we can go sort of up this way. Well done. Okay, thanks. Nice job. But try to be more efficient. Move less, clean more, as I always say. Try again, but this time your moves are limited. Ah, oh, darn. You've got to be really good now. Alright, let's go, baby. Alright, so we can decide if we bounce off walls or not, depending on our clicks. I kind of hoped that would be the far away click. Oh, okay, so one's a nearer click, and one's a far away click. So it only shows it at the beginning, just to kind of tell you. I was hoping that was a far away click, but... There we go. I kind of wish it still told us which one was near and which one was far away clicks. Ah, oh, that, that was a mess up. I need that to be a far away one. This is really cool, though. Alright. I don't know, this is my last one. Failed. Aw, oh, not a good janitor. Next. We took six We're playing the wiggle room. Top models, gave them six deadly chainsaws, and put them in one room. Okay. Welcome to the Wiggle Room. Oh, okay. I was wondering if we just couldn't see stuff or what. Scout for talent. Okay. Cassius. Cassius is known as the man without a name by his many admirers. He likes needlework, something and thinking. Sure. Alright, so he's one of like the yellow bikini. Oh, wow, they died. Ugh. Let's we have to kill everyone. This isn't scary at all. Mm. Got her. We win! Yes! Alright, so we just have to chainsaw everyone to death. Alright, semi finals. Oh! Alright, so we can also just clash chainsaws, which causes us to sort of move um, away from them like that. Got you. We're great at this. What <laughs> a gory, strange game. Also, you can slip on blood. <laughs> Next. We're playing One Room Dungeon. 
Alright, got some health. Oh, okay, there's some buttons. Press X, over, over, up, down. What? What do you want from your game? Press X, plus over. Oh. What? I don't like you guys, why are you fighting me? Urgh. Oh, 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 so I'm kind of like moving the rooms around. Push these buttons. <clears throat> okay, so we kind of push the room up. There's still some more enemies, but we're going to hit all these and then oh, over. And then that kind of kills them, the way that you push them. Oh, I don't have all the buttons. But, ugh. Right, go away. This is quite neat. I kind of grabbed one of them. The monsters. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, I can't move up. Oh, I'm missing a button. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's alright. Sort of get used to just running around and clicking buttons and then BAM! Death for them. They're like a zombie as well chasing me. So many things. It's quite a great idea. Next, we're playing There Is No Room. I've already shot, so we're gonna reload, and then we're gonna do the wave. We're also gonna pick up bullets, because I have a feeling we'll probably run out. I'm not ready for the next wave. Okay. Okay, we need to reload, probably. I like how we can control when the next wave is, but I feel like that also might make it a bit easier. Oh, till I died. Suddenly there was a lot of them. <laughs> I can just E for next wave. I don't think I can restart the game. It's a simple good start. I like where they were going with it. I wish there were some different enemy types and maybe something um, that scales it a bit, like some health as well probably. But it's a good start. I like the little zombie shooting guys. They look sort of like priests with their little white dot on them, like zombie priestmen. Next. We're playing the game Squiddy. Help Squiddy find his ink sack. Ugh. Left mouse for short moves, right mouse for fast moves. Look at the little squid guy. He's cute. There's an ink sack. Seems to be lots of bad sea things that like pushed us a bit. Ugh. Don't push us into things I don't want to be pushed into. Okay, we'll go this way. I'm just trying to go through and collect ink sacks. Don't mind me. I really like the weirdness of this uh, octopi, octopus. Don't want to be pushed into that. Where is our ink sack? Ooh. Oh. Oh, we lost some of our legs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guy. Can also do like really long bits. But I prefer just clicking a lot. I think. Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, ah! Oh. Now Squiddy will have one eye and no tentacles. You should feel bad. I do! This is a really cute game. Like all the details they put in this like weird fish tank thing. There's like background bits. There's really strange looking sea plants. There's lots and lots. Ah, oh, ah, oh, no! <laughs> lots of stuff going on. Next. We're playing room 753, enter the door. They're all 753, I've got a card for this one. Let's enter this one. It'll be fine. Oh, what's this? Schedule. Okay, let's clean some rooms. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a weird game, but you know. Oh wow, okay, let's go in here. There's a TV off. Right here, I have a do not disturb thing. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go inside your actual room. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Let's go down. I have a do not disturb thing. I haven't given them a do not disturb thing, so that I could they could totally not want me to disturb the room. Alright, TV off. Why do you guys all have the same room number? Alright. Let's go here. Bam, bam, bam. Look at these rooms. Easy. Oh, no. Turn off TV. Okay. Gosh, there's a lot of them, though. 
I feel like I must be very tired because the room keeps glitching out. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Should we go down this way? Should we go down that way? There's like a room at the end. Alright. Oh, I skipped a load of rooms. It's probably fine. They all need the same thing anyway. It's a really weird game. Okay. Just methodically cleaning rooms. Um, you don't even have to go in to clean them either. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. What happens if we close the door? Then we open the door back up. Oh, it's still fixed. All right, all right. I don't know. Just cleaning some rooms. It's not a very hard job at all. Something meant to happen at some point. All the rooms are exactly the same. What's the point? I'm waiting for something weird to happen, but maybe nothing weird happens. There's some towels. Huh. Ah, I'm done. I cleaned most of the rooms. Okay. It's just this our life now. Every day. <laughs> Date every day. Jack a boy. Oh, that is weird. Next. We're playing Finding Home. Arrow keys to move space to interact. Aw, oh, these snails look adorable. Hi. Mama, why don't we have a nice home like other animals in the forest? There, there, little one, I assure you, we do have great homes. Everything in the forest has its place. In our, in our case, our place has us. Maybe we should talk to the owl down at the bend and see what kind of home they like to live in. Okay, Mom, I'll find the owl. Oh, look at how cute the owl is. Hello there, Slowpoke. What brings you by our great oak? I see you live in a great big oak tree high above the busyness of the forest floor. My home is fantastic. Our tree hole protects us and lets us look down at everything happening below. I have no home to keep me safe high above. I have no place to look down from. Am I talking about the little home on my back? Because I have a nice little home on my back. Alright. I should talk to Mama. Okay. Let's go talk to Mama. Hi. Mama, why don't we have a home up high to keep us safe and watch from the sky? There, there, little one. I assure you we do have great homes. Everything in the forest has its place. In our case, our place has us. Maybe you should talk to Wombat down the way and see where they like to stay. Not even sure what a wombat is. Are you a wombat? Are you a wombat? Yeah. Why, hello, tiny one. What brings you by our den today? A den? I want to learn about your home. Inside the ground is where me and my brothers call home. My mama was, th was thorough when she dug out our burrow. We share our space and keep each other safe. I have no brothers to share my space. There's only one room in my place. Oh, because I'm a snail. I don't have a very big home. I very much like the graphics and how adorable this is. Mama, why don't we have a burrow that fits a whole family with lots of space? There, there, little one. I assure you we do have great homes. Everything in this forest has its place. In our case, our place has us. Maybe you should talk to a bee near the old grove and see what they call home. Well, this is quite a nice educational game for kids. They can learn all about these other animals. Oh, the turtle's like us. The turtle has a home like us. <laughs> We're going to discover that next.